do not wait the time will never be just right start where you stand and work with whatever tools you may have at your command and better tools will be found as you go along with this beautiful thought a very good morning to all my dear students i hope you all are in good health i shreya jadhav welcome you all to my e learning channel and today we are going to learn english grade 12 chapter 3 deep water written by william o douglas so let us know something about the author william douglas born 1898 died 1980 was born in miami after graduating with a bachelor's of arts in english and economics he spent 2 years teaching high school in yakima however he got tired of this and decided to pursue a legal career he met franklin d roosevelt at yale and became an adviser and friend to president douglas was a leading advocate of individual rights he retired in 1975 with a term lasting 36 years and remains the longest serving justice in the history of the court The following excerpt is taken from O Man and Mountains by William O Douglas. It reveals how as a young man William Douglas nearly drowned in a swimming pool. In this essay he talks about his fear of water and thereafter how he finally overcomes it. So now let us go through the introduction for answers dear students whenever you are writing down the answers for your test purpose or for your examination purpose always remember to start your answer with introduction this creates a really good effect prose prose name deep water author's name william douglas genre essay summary the following excerpt is taken from of man and mountains it reveals how as a young boy william douglas nearly drowned in a swimming pool in this essay he talks about his fear of water and thereafter how he finally overcomes it so now let us go through the reading and explanation of the chapter it happened when i was 10 or 11 years old i had decided to learn to swim there was a pool at the ymca in yakima that offered exactly the opportunity the yakima river was treacherous it means dangerous most continually warned against it and kept fresh in my mind the details of each drowning in the river but the ymca pool was safe it was only 2 or 3 feet deep at the shallow end and while it was 9 feet deep at the other the drop was gradual i got a pair of water wings and went to the pool i hated to walk over here you can see the image of the river is been given to you naked into it and show my skinny legs but i subdued my pride and did it from the beginning however i had an aversion means dislike to the water when i was in it this started when i was 3 or 4 years old 
and father took me to the beach in California. He and I stood together in the surf. I hung to him, yet the waves knocked me down and swept over me. I was buried in water. My breath was gone. I was frightened. Father laughed, but there was terror in my heart at the overpowering force of the waves. So here in the beginning, the narrator had built a fear of water when he was just a small kid of three or four years old. His father had taken him to a beach in California and the waves knocked him down and swept over him. He was so much frightened and terrorized by this act which took place. But his father only laughed because he didn't took it that seriously. Then he decided to learn swimming at the YMCA pool as it was safe. On the shallow side, it was just two or three feet deep and on the deeper side, it was nine feet deep. But the drop was gradual. In comparison, the Yakima River was dangerous. The narrator's mother had always warned him against swimming there. Every time there was a drowning incident, she would tell them the details so that he remained away from it. My introduction to the YMCA swimming pool revived means bringing back those unpleasant memories and steered childish fear. But in a little while I gathered confidence. I pedaled with my new water wings, watching the other boys and trying to learn by aping them means copying them. I did this two or three times on different days and was just beginning to feel at ease in the water when the misadventure happened. I went to the pool when no one else was there. The place was quiet, the water was still, and the tiled bottom was as white and clean as a bathtub. I was timid about going in alone, so I sat on the side of the pool to wait for others. I had not been there long when it came when in came a big brochure, means a bully, of a boy, probably 18 years old. He had thick hair on his chest. He was a beautiful physical specimen with legs and arms that showed rippling muscles. He yelled, hi skinny, how would you like to be ducked? With that, he picked me up and tossed me into the deep end. I landed in a sitting position, swallowed water and went at once to the bottom. I was frightened, but not yet frightened out of my wits. On the way down, I planned when my feet hit the bottom, I would make a big jump, come to the surface, lie flat on it and pedaled to the edge of the pool. It seemed a long way down. Those nine feet were more like 90, and before I touched bottom, my lungs were ready to burst. But when my feet hit bottom, I summoned all my strength and made what I thought was a great spring upwards. I imagined I would bob means jump to the surface like a cork. Instead, I came up slowly. I opened my eyes and saw nothing. But water, water, that had a dirty yellow tinge to it. I grew panicky. I reached up as if to grab a rope and my hands clutched 
only at water. I was suffocating. I tried to yell, but no sound came out. Then my eyes and nose came out of water, but not my mouth. So over here, the narrator is giving the description, the incident, the second incident which eventually took place with him. The bad dream which we can consider. The first dream was when he was drowned in that Yakima river. And the second incident was about this YMCA pool. One day, the narrator, as a child, went early to the pool. But he found that no one else was there. He was timid about going into the water all alone. He was frightened. He was not ready to go because he was already having that fear. So he sat on the side of the pool to wait for others. Just then a big muscular bully boy came, picked him up and threw him into a deep end of the pool. The narrator landed in a sitting position swallowed water and went at once to the bottom. He was frightened, but he made a plan to save himself. He decided that when his feet would hit the bottom, he would make a big jump, come to the surface, lie flat on it and pedaled to the edge of the pool. However, the nine feet down seemed more like 90 to him. He was totally out of breath when his feet touched the bottom. Still, with all his strength, he made a spring upwards, means he tried to put himself up. He came up slower than he had thought. His eyes, he opened his eyes and saw that there was nothing but only water everywhere. And he started panicking. Because of his panic, he started suffocating. He tried to shout, but no sound came out of his mouth. I flayed at the surface of the water, swallowed and choked. I tried to bring my legs up, but they hung as dead weights, paralyzed and Richard. A great force was pulling me under. I screamed, but only the water heard me. I had started on a long journey back to the bottom of the pool. I struck at the water as I went down, expanding my strength as one in a nightmare fights an irresistible force. I had lost all my breath, my lungs ached, my head throbbed, I was getting dizzy, but I remembered the strategy. I would spring from the bottom of the pool and come like a cork to the surface. I would lie flat on the water, strike out with my arms and thrash with my legs. Then I could get to the edge of the pool and be safe. I went down, down endlessly. I opened my eyes, nothing but water with a yellow glow. Dark water that one could, could not see through. So now what happened? Then he came up to the surface again. And he started beating the surface of the water. He tried to breathe, but swallowed water and choked. He tried to bring up his legs, but they were hung or they were tied like dead weights. A great force was taking him to the bottom of the pool. He was trying really very hard to come on above the surface of the water, but it was very difficult for him. Because he was not a trained person. He had lost all his breath. 
his lungs ached and his head throbbed means his head his legs his body now they were paining a lot and because of this thing he was suffocating choking and it seemed that it would not be possible for him to overcome this thing in that in that state he tried his best but he couldn't save himself when he opened the eyes he saw nothing but only water and that water at initial stage it seemed to him like as white as a bath robe or a bath tub but now it was looking like a yellow glow and he experienced a terror on which he had no control and which he had never experienced he knew he was still alive because of the beating of his heart and the pounding in his head he again jumped with all his might when he touched the bottom it was in vain means it was totally waste he was still under water he was trying really very hard to come out from the water but it was very difficult for him why because he was deep down 9 feet and he was still a very young boy so it was not possible for him because he was he had just started up with his training and then sheer stroke stark terrorized sized me terror that knows no understanding terror that knows no control terror that no one can understand who has not experienced it it was shrieking under water i was paralyzed under water stiff rigid with fear even my screams in my throat were frozen only my heart and the pounding in my head said that i was alive and then in the midst of the terror came a touch of reason i must remember to jump when i hit the bottom at last i felt the tiles under me my toes reached out as if to grab them i jumped with everything i had with all the energy in short but the jump made no difference the water was still around me i looked for ropes ladders water rings nothing but water a mass of yellow water held me stark terror took an even deeper hold on me like a great charge of electricity i shook and trembled with fright my arms wouldn't move my legs wouldn't move i tried to call for help to call for mother nothing happened and then strangely there was light i was coming out of an awful yellow water at least my eyes were my nose was almost out too then i started down a third time i sucked for air and got water the yellowish light was going out then all effort ceased i relaxed even my legs felt limp and the blackness swept over my brain i whipped out fear it whipped out terror there was no more panic it was quiet and peaceful nothing to be afraid of this is nice to be drowsy to go to sleep no need to jump too tired to jump it's nice to be carried gently to floating along in space tender arms around me tender arms like mothers now i must go to sleep i crossed to oblivion and the curtain of life fell the next i remember i was lying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting the chap that threw me in was saying 
but i was only fooling someone said the kid nearly died be all right now let's carry him to the locker room several hours later i walked home i was weak and trembling i shook and cried when i lay on my bed i couldn't eat that night for days a haunting fear was in my heart the slightest exertion upset me making me wobbly in the we in the knees and sick to my stomach i never went back to the pool i feared water i avoided it whenever i could fear had paralyzed him his arms and legs stopped moving and he trembled with fright he almost tried to call out his mother but eventually nothing could happen and suddenly he found himself going down for the third time and then his body went limp blackness took over his brain and everything went quiet and peaceful he felt as if he was wrapped in his mother's arm and then he fell unconscious that he was unconscious in inside the water and he has lose all his hope of coming out of it the next thing he remembered that he was lying on his stomach beside the pool and he was vomiting the narrator was unable to eat that night because he was weak and trembling he never went back to the pool as he feared water whenever he went near the water the terror would return to haunt him back and it was really very bad for him also because so many nights he faced these sort of you no know, haunting fears and he didn't eat anything at that particular night a few years later when i came to know the waters of cascades i wanted to get into them and whenever i did whether i was wading the titon or bumping river or bathing in warm lake of goat rocks the terror that had sized me in the pool would come back it would take possession of me completely my legs would become paralyzed i see horror would grab my heart this handicap stayed with me as the years rolled by in the canoes or on mian lakes fishing for landlocked salmon base fishing in the new hemisphere trout fishing on the dascutes and metolius in oregon fishing for salmon on the columbia at bumping lake in the cascades wherever i went the haunting fear of the water followed me it ruined my fishing trip deprived me of the joy of canoeing boating and swimming i used every way i knew to overcome this fear but it held me firmly in its grip finally one october i decided to get an instructor to learn to swim i went to a pool and practiced 5 days a week and r each day the instructor put a belt around me a rope attached to the belt went through a pulley that ran on an overhead cable he held on to the end of the rope and we went back and forth back and forth across the pool r after r day after day week after week on each trip across the pool a bit of panic seized me each time the instructor released his hold on the rope and i went under some of my old terror returned and my legs froze
It was three months before the tension began to slack. Then he taught me to put my face under the water and exhale and to raise my nose and inhale. I repeated the exercise hundreds of times. Bit by bit, I shared part of the panic that seized me when my head went under the water. Next, he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick with my legs. For weeks, I did just that. At first, my legs refused to work, but they gradually relaxed. And finally, I could command them. Thus, piece by piece, he built a swimmer. And when he had perfected each piece, he put them together into an integrated whole. In April, he said, Now you can swim, dive off and swim the length of the pool. Crawl stroke. I did. The instructor was finished so over here the author is trying to say that the fear stayed with him as he grew up it ruined his fishing trip trips boating trips and many more finally he decided to learn swimming with the help of a personal instructor he went to a pool and practiced for an hour five days a week the instructor put a belt with a rope around the narrator and the rope went through a pulley. The instructor held on to the other end of the rope. Each time the instructor relaxed his hold on the rope and the narrator went under the water. The same old terror returned and froze his legs. It took him three months to overcome the sphere. Then the instructor taught him to breathe while swimming and also move his legs. Slowly, the narrator became a swimmer. But I was not finished. I still wondered if I would be terror stricken when I was alone in the pool. I tried. I swam the length up and down. Tiny vestiges of an old terror would return. But now I could frown and say to that terror, trying to scare me, Ah, well, here's to you, look, and off I would go for another length of the pool. This went on until July, but I was still not satisfied. I was not sure that all my terror had left. So I went to the lake Wentworth in New Hemisphere, dived off a dock at Triggs Island and swam two miles across the lake to Stamp Act Island. I swam the crawl, breaststroke, side stroke and backstroke. Only once did the terror return. When I was in the middle of the lake, I put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water. The old sensation returned in miniature. I laughed and said, Well, Mr. Terror, what do you think you can do to me? It fleed and I swam on. Yet I had residual doubts. At my first opportunity, I hurried west, went up the Titan to Concord Meadows, up the Conrad Creek Trail to Medi Glaciers and cramped in the high meadows by the side of Warm Lake. The next morning, I striped, dived into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back. Just as Dog Corporon used to do, I shouted with joy, and Gilbert Peak returned the echo. I had conquered my fear of water. 
the experience had a deep meaning for me as only those who have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate in death there is peace there is terror only in the fear of death as roswelt knew when he said all we have to fear is fear itself because i had experienced both the sensation of dying and the terror that fear of it can produce the will to live somehow grew in intensity at last i felt realized released free to walk the trails and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear so at the end after the training was completed the narrator was having apprehensions about swimming alone in the pool he tried to swim by himself and some part of the old terror came but he was not afraid any more now the narrator still wanted to be terror free so he went to the lake wentworth in new hemisphere and swam 2 miles across the lake when he was in the middle of the lake he put his face under and saw nothing but only he observed that there was bottomless sea the old sensation that fear came back and it haunted him a lot but this time somehow he resisted the fear and swam on then he went to the warm lake and swam to the other shore and back he was thrilled with joy as he had conquered his fear of deep water he explains that death was peaceful but it was the fear of death that crippled a person here he quotes president roosevelt's saying all we have to fear is fear itself the narrator had experienced death and the terror that it would produce so he so his will to live grow so this is all about the reading and explanation of the chapter i hope that you all liked it thank you for watching and have a nice day if you still find any doubt or queries you can comment down in the comment section below thank you everyone and have a nice day